Welcome back. Hawaiian Electric's 10th annual Grow Hawaiian Festival is happening this Saturday from 9 to 3 at the Bishop Museum. That's right. It's a free event that celebrates Hawaiian culture, native flora, and sustainable lifestyles. Now, joining us today, Trinidad, I love your name, by the way. Trini. You go by Trini. Uh, Trini Sung, a uh, Laau Lapaau practitioner. Laau Lapaau is one of the traditional Hawaiian practices that people can learn about at the event this weekend. Yes. Trinidad. I've never I'm met not a using man. The commu confused I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trinity one, Trinity two. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Thing one, thing two. Um, so tell us for people who may not be familiar, what is Laau Lapaau? Okay, so Laau Lapaau is an ancient Hawaiian practice. So um, the Laau Lapaau practitioner uses his or her knowledge along with the medicinal plants, whether it's introduced or endemic. And uh, the most important thing also is the patient's belief that he or she is going to get better from their ailments. That's so good because so much of it is in our mind, right? If we believe we can be healed from yes. these medicinal it. yes. plants. Yes, and belief is everything. Some of us grew up and we actually have been through it but not really know. Like I can remember my grandmother shoving Olena in oh, my nose yes. and my ears. But do people still practice it today? Yes, yes. I've been practicing for several years. Um, and um, I know that um, I use La'alapa'al today. I incorporate it into my life. Um, I use noni juice to cleanse my digestive, uh, my de digestive system um, every few months. Um, other Does it work? Because this is totally, this is too much information, but I could use some digestive <laughs> We all do. It does work. Okay. It does work. And that's why I do the maintenance, to just bring my body back to pono, mm -hmm. or balance. Yeah, Because, like you know, we eat a lot of foods and... A lot of it is not good, or we come back from trips mm -hmm. that, you know, like you go to a faraway country and you're not, you're not used to. Noni is a good resource. So it's like, as Hawaiians, we should eat Hawaiian things? Yes, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> as grown as Hawaiians. Right? Yes, right? yes. Um, so what are some of the plants that you brought here today? Okay, like I mentioned, the um, like noni. We have noni here, uh, right over here. And I have brought some of the fruit and the leaves. But noni to me is like the Swiss army knife. Yes, of plants because it has so many uses. Like I mentioned before, the juice is for the digestive system. Mm -hmm. We have the, um, as soon as I'm done processing the juice, I save the, uh, the fruit and it becomes noni butter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. sure. Noni butter? Noni butter. Wow. Okay. Wow. So this is good for any small cuts or for rashes. Mm -hmm. um, the, and it's kind of smelly too if you guys can oh, um, yeah. smell a vision. But, um, the noni leaves is good for any anything like if you have arthritis in your joints wow. or your elbow or your knees that is that is a good way of uh, trying to heal your injuries so this saturday you're going to be at the hawaii grown festival is, will they be able to talk to you people just can get a little bit more knowledge of, of it and yes how they yes can apply it to so i i will be there along with um along with a variety of artisans there yeah nice. and they'll um they are artisans from all over the uh, state um, in the Hawaiian culture. Hawaiians very, very smart. I mean, look, they don't waste any said, part of the We are the smartest plant. people in the world. <laughs> right? Yes. Uh, we are looking at some video, I believe, of last year's event, but you can see there's going to be a lot of different activities there mm -hmm. uh, for the kids, entertainment. Yes. Uh, it just looks like a wonderful outing, right, yeah. for the whole family. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, there's going to be hula and uh, musical performances. There's also going to be a farm fair. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, a farmer's market. Oh, okay. A farmer's market and native plant sale, and there's also going to be fun activities for the keiki. And, uh, of course, uh, Ono Hawaiian food. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes. Terrific. So it's this Saturday from 9 to 3? From 9 to 3. 9 to 3 yes. at the Bishop Museum. Yes. And if you haven't been to the Bishop Museum lately, oh, this beautiful. is a wonderful opportunity to go and check it out and uh, learn more about uh, the traditional Hawaiian cultures. La -au, la -au. Yeah? Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you for being here. This is wonderful. No problem. I'm dying to stick my finger in, but, I, but you actually put this on the cut. Yeah, okay. yeah you, you, you put it on the abrasion or the rash, mm -hmm. and um, it, it takes time to, um, to get the sore down, so you still have to apply. It's kind of like um, taking your medicine every day. Can you yeah. actually ingest the butter? No, I wouldn't. No, I just would just ingest the juice. See, that's what I my, yes. my grandmother always would say, if it tastes bad, it's good for you. Yes, it's medicine. <laughs> yes. That's what we always say in the Lao world. Okay. If it's, it's bad, medicine. it's medicine. Oh. All yes. right. Well, Trini, thank you so much for joining us. And go check it out at the Bishop Museum this Saturday. Fast